Breaking news from the Federal Reserve. Richmond Fed President Jeff Lacker resigning immediately from the Federal Reserve. He is acknowledging that he was the source of information about an investigation that came from a story from Medley Global Advisors in September 2012. This case, this story has been out there for five years. We have not known the source of the leak. Jeff Lacker now saying he was a person who confirmed information in possession of the analyst during the call. Jeff Lacker saying, quote, my conduct was inconsistent with Federal Reserve policies. He's disclosing, uh, he, he says he did Disclosed that the analysts had the information in talks with the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District in 2015, uh, but he did not disclose it in 2012 when he was interviewed by the Federal Reserve's General Counsel. He says, quote, I crossed the line. He was scheduled a 13-year veteran in this job. He was scheduled to retire in October. He is now saying he's retiring, Melissa, immediately. So the Richmond Fed President Jeff Lacker uh, standing down and resigning after admitting he was the source of the confirmation of information in that Medley Global Advisors story that caused such a controversy back in 2012, Steve, where it Steve, seemed to confirm should, that there was a quantitative easing and more stimulus coming from the we, Fed. Okay, tell us about how the Fed works, because I, there, there, I know they're appointed. Should we assume Lacker stepping down because he knows he would have been removed? What would have been? He's not an employee like a CEO where you can get fired by a board. What would have uh, been a mechanism? Is. Oh, yeah, he is. He, so he, he would, actually is. He so would, the Federal he, Reserve could could have or would have right conducted some sort of well his, ex parte the, hearing and, and booted him out. He he, under, he serves, is my understanding, Brian, at the pleasure of the board of directors of the Richmond Federal Reserve Bank. Uh, that's the one. Those are the people who appoint uh, and and vote for the next president. And Steve? Yeah, and and what I don't know, folks, is uh, it's important here. Uh, he did not tell accurately to the general counsel of the Fed in 2012 about this contact with this analyst. He doesn't even seem to be admitting that he told it in a wider investigation. This was a subject of an investigation by the U.S. Attorney's Office so, in the which Southern leads, District. Which leads me to a question, Steve. Could he be prosecuted? I, I look. That's outside my area of knowledge. And what I wanted to talk to you about right here is this notion that what it says here is I did disclose in the interview around the broader investigation in 2015 that the analyst was in possession of confidential information, but he doesn't say that he admitted to talking to the analyst about that there. So that's unclear to me whether or not he actually. Uh, uh, told the full truth in an interview uh, around an investigation that involved the FBI, the CFTC, and the Inspector General of the Fed right there. So it, certainly in the 2012 interview with the general counsel, he says he did not yeah. provide the information. Well, there would be two, two stories here. So to Michelle's point, if he broke Fed rules, he's not going to be prosecuted. He just is going to be canned, in which case he stepped down immediately because right. you step down immediately when you think you're probably going to be booted anyway. If, however, that information was utilized in some capacity for trading by Medley, which is an advisor, by the way, a macro but, policy but advisor. But my question is even more simple. The FBI is involved. The DOJ is involved. Right. Is the minute they're is involved, they right. have to ask I'm just not tell the truth right. to the Michelle FBI. Is asking People have been question. prosecuted. Uh, 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 well, I'm just, yeah, I'm going to say the obvious, which is that you, in order to be prosecuted, you have to have broken a law, not a Fed rule. I will tell you that this is a subject of what was an, a sort of novel insider trading case, and that's something that had been pursued, and I don't know the status of it right now. It's something that's been in the background for almost five years now, and things crop up on it every now and then we have not known the source of the confirmation of the information. The way uh, President Lacker uh, describes it is the analyst already had the information and it appears uh, fr from reading it that he confirmed that information that the Fed was about to do a, uh, a stimulus package of $45 billion purchases of bonds. Uh, I know we've got to go. I think it's a big developing story. So I'm going to, uh, Christina, our producer, I apologize for this. What, what does this mean for the Fed in terms of, in terms of interest rate policy? Lacker voting member? Um, he is not right now, I don't believe, but let me just say that, that this is not strictly directly at interest rate policy. I believe this is a black eye on the reputation of the Fed, the idea that he would be I was, no, I was wondering if out. we would be short a voting member or will be no. short. When do we get somebody no, new no, in there? Somebody okay. immediately will take his place, either a research director or a, uh, a, a vice president at the Fed, uh, or the Richmond Fed would take his place on the board, would be typical fashion, but there's not, it would never be short a member. If, if a president who is a voting member couldn't vote, there's an alternate for each member. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.